Yeah, so infections is uh, obviously one of one of one of the really important uh, toxicity of uh, of CAR T cell therapy. Uh, patients who uh, uh, have previously received heavy heavy treatment uh, with with chemotherapy for their for their lymphomas um, and are already cytopenic, they're particularly at, at higher risk. Uh, and patients who have some sort of an infection before they start CAR T cell therapy, therapy their uh, infection risk. Is certainly um, certainly very high. So some of the prophylactic strategies, obviously, are um, the use of uh, prophylactic antifungal medication in uh, in these patients, um, uh, as well as antiviral medications um, uh, before the patients actually receive their CAR T cell cell treatment, um, and then subsequently um, at our center uh, we use um, ciprofloxacin. Um, as as a prophylaxis during the CAR T cell therapy when um, when the neutrophil count is less than 0.0.5 0. 0. Um, and then subsequently uh, 14 from 14 days uh, post CAR T therapy uh, we use um, GCSF to uh, try and uh, maintain their neutrophil count uh, above one uh, and some of these patients actually can require uh, very prolonged uh, GCSF therapy. Uh, obviously, it will need to be just tailored according to what the neutrophil count is uh, from um, one injection a week to one injection every day. But certainly some patients can uh, continue to require long-term uh, GCSF therapy after after receiving CAR T cells. So these are some of, the, some of the strategies that we use to try and reduce the risk of, uh, of different infections. Um, uh, another important point to mention is that if, if the patients have actually um, got an infection at the time when they are about to receive their CAR T cell therapy. We try and delay the infusion of the CAR T cells if possible. So there's uh, this potential for um, uh, for delaying um, the, the infusion um, after lymphodepletion by up to two weeks if um, if if the patient has um, has uh, has any active infection.